Hey YouTube, today I'm going to install the XBMC Android to my Minix Neo G4 and uh, you can go ahead and do this too. Uh, just open up the browser. I'm using the Maxdown browser um, and right on your tablet or Android device and navigate to the XDA developers website. Uh, I'll have a link in the description and then you just scroll down that link and you'll see the two downloads that you need. Uh, first you have to decide or find out if your device is a neon uh, or non-neon and I made a video about that so you can check that out in my channel. And um, my uh, Minix uh, Neo G4 uh, mini PC is a neon device so I'm gonna click this first one here and I'm gonna download that and I like using the Maxdown browser because it shows you the downloads up front in the dialog box. So we'll download that and uh, let's go back. And being that I have a keyboard hooked up to this and it's not a touch screen device, I'm going to do the set top box uh, version. Uh, but if you have a touch screen uh, Android tablet or phone, you can use the touch screen version. Just watch my video and you'll see which one's Neo and which one's not. So basically I already have them uh, downloaded and installed. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to open up the video player first. It might take you to the Android Play Store to uh, download the codex. Uh, but uh, if not, then just open it up and then it'll be all good. And then go into your XBMC uh, install, you know, the download and install that. So now that we have both of them downloaded and I have them installed, it's quite simple. Just click your way through. When you hit the home button now, you're going to have XBMC as one of your launcher options. Um, but we're not going to go there just yet. Uh, but you can click on that and go straight to XBMC, which is great. And I have them on my desktop. I have the MX player. So if I just open that, I don't have any content. And that's where you need to be. Uh, when just before you open up your um, your XBMC, so now we're gonna just go and click on XBMC, and we'll just do it this one time. Or else you can just click it from the desktop. And when it first opens up, it's gonna load up. It's gonna prepare itself. But once you're in, you're in. And the good thing about this is it's very user friendly. Um, it already has a lot of the sources in. Uh, it has the uh, repositories, it has ice films, it has uh, one channel, it's got a bunch of other things. Um, and you could just, you know, scroll through using your arrow buttons or your finger if you're using a touch screen. And you can put some add ons in there. It comes with Navi X. Um, and the nice thing about this Android app and the Android uh, settings, if you click on Android apps, you can pretty much open up any one of your. Uh, installed um, apps uh, or if you go to settings uh, basically you just click the settings and it'll be just like clicking on settings from say your desktop uh, you know for the Android device itself and then you got system uh, programs that's in programs and then in system so now let's go see how user friendly this is because I, I didn't do any sort of configuring I just let everything load up so say we went into ice films and being that you installed the MX uh, player you'll be able to use it because uh, Android devices don't exactly have hardware um, that you know can do high definition or play videos and things like that so basically Android this XBMC is just a media center exactly what it is XBMC so a media center and uh, all the uh, video is doing is done with a secondary app uh, like the MX player. Um, so it, say we were just to hit HD 720, and it will load up everything. There's no configuring whatsoever, so that's that's great. And of course, if you want to add things, and you can see that at the bottom right, it's working. And uh, it will load up uh, the Minix. Neo G4 has a very good Wi-Fi, so we won't have any problem with disconnecting and things like that. And I tested this out. I played some videos, and they work. And uh, it's nice to see XBMC on Android. 
And um, so now let's see, uh, say we have a, the Hangover Part Two. We click that. I'm not going to play too much of it, of course, because of copyright. So then they give you the sources, and let's just pick the first source, and we'll see how it loads up. So that's uh, XBMC for you, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you try it out for yourself, and uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.